this time. I've got an idea. Careful. I have one of those ones. And no, before you ask, I'm not helping you put your hemorrhoid cream on again. <laughs> Can't you see the princess is worried about meeting her parents? Well, running away from the problem's not going to solve it. That wasn't running. Well, walking slowly away from the problem's not going to solve it. It's a little too heavy. Um, Je voudrais la see on the stage, s'il vous plaît. I've got a GCSE, friend. <laughs> Not telling you what great. <laughs> ah, it's my boulangerie, the scariest type of lingerie. <laughs> How about we bake that it's a slow burner? That one? <laughs> lingerie, boulangerie, yeah. How about we bake the princess a cake to cheer her up? Really not sure if we have time for that, Benjamin. Oh, nonsense, of course we have. And anyway, the berries that I've been eating are starting to become a little bit hazardous for the local environment. <laughs> oh. Right, right, so if we're going to bake a cake, we're going to need some ingredients. Uh, things we put in a cake, not greedy ants. So, um, what about some eggs, raisins, and flour? Got anything? Raisins? No raisins, only flour. Oh. Well, I can't cook a cake with just flour. That'd be a pretty sad cake. It'll taste like one of those vegan cakes, and the princess ain't a vegan. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being vegan, just not much right either. Um, no, we need some real ingredients, some chocolate, eggs, and raisins. I like raisins, they're my favourite. Perhaps I'm on my time with that with foraging for ingredients. What a great idea, Jeff! Right, let's see what we can find. Have we got something instead of raisins? Squirrel droppings, Harry. Thanks. Okay, what about something instead of chocolate? Tree bark. Thanks, Ava. Tree bark. Hmm. I shudder to think. What about something instead of snails? Eggs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know all the right words, but not necessarily. <laughs> No, I'll smile it out. <laughs> snails? Who do you think I am? What type of savage eats snails? <laughs> no, just like this scene, perseverance is the key to success. <laughs> Go on, Andy, put them in. Right, all we need now is a little bit of seasoning. <coughs> More like seasoning. <laughs> Well, we really should be going. Well, oh, perhaps you're right with snails, tree bark, and squirrel droppings. It isn't a wooden load of old. Shall we put it down that way? Shall we put it down? Yeah. Lovely. So, I do apologise, my album is gas powered. Yeah. Um, so, we put it first in the microwave. <laughs> Sorry, there's a satellite link to my microwave now. Right, you, you, you take out the, the, the whatever it is. Now, it will be hot in real life, but as you can tell, this isn't real, so, you know, always get a mum and dad to help. Now, as I said, it's powered by my own gas. I don't run the door to see. But it does give off a slightly different coloured flame. So, uh, gas mark 3, 250, gas mark 6, just to gently uh, burn the top of the cake. And, uh, Shall we all see what I make, boys and girls? Yes! Sounds a bit more convinced. Shall we all see what I make? Yes! Ready? Three, two, one! Oh! <laughs> Eat it! Very <laughs> good! Alright, we'll save it for later just in case I've got a soggy bottom. Je vous drain la cuisine off the stage, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> Trebian. I'm improving. I might learn off stage by the sim show. Right, on with the story and don't be sad down wind. <coughs> be warned, this part of the woods is said to be haunted. I suggest we all proceed with call. Haunted? It's like a horrible little pesky ghost to scare me. Well, I'm sure if there was a ghost, the ghost would be the ghost of death. <laughs> I'm sure if there was a ghost, the girls and boys would tell us, wouldn't they, girls and boys? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And the girls would go and tell us as well. Lead on. Let's So tell me, Jeb, leader of the foragers, is there a Mrs. Jeb, leader of the foragers? Betty, is it really appropriate to be 
chatting someone up right now. Inappropriate just happens to be my maiden name. It's best you always like this. Well, she's got an ex-husband at every show. <laughs>